Next to argue this resolution, NATO is no longer fit for purpose. Derek Chalet. Derek, do you declare yes or no? John, I declare no. Uh, NATO is fit for purpose. NATO is one of America's greatest assets. Consider our two strategic rivals, Russia and China, and ask yourselves, how many willing partners do they have? Countries that they haven't bought off or strong-armed in some way. Countries that actually want to work with them, want their militaries to develop together, to train together, to cooperate and defend one another. Countries that believe that an attack on one is an attack against all. The answer is no. Yet for seven decades, the United States has enjoyed the partnership of an alliance that today is 29 countries strong. Some of these countries are large, some are small. They've helped keep the peace in Europe. They're working with American soldiers today on the ground in places like Afghanistan and Iraq, and they're working with the U.S. military on confronting the challenges of the future. Now, can working with partners prove time-consuming and frustrating? Absolutely. NATO has always had its share of challenges adapting and responding to new threats. Today's no different which is why the alliance needs reforms to make itself faster and more agile, and why the Europeans do need to spend more on their defense. But that's a far cry from saying that NATO is no longer fit for purpose and needs to be retired. Ask yourselves, would the US be better able to protect its interests and help solve the challenges of the future without willing and capable allies standing by its side? Think about it. If NATO did not exist today, we would be racing to invent it. Thank you.